today on Running to Him. The powerful want to retain power. The believer in Christ should desire to effect change in people's lives. If you're joining us in going through the Gospel of John, today's reading is John chapter 11, verses 47 through 57, and we'll concentrate on verses 47 through 50. John 11, 47 through 50 says, Therefore, the chief priests and the Pharisees convened a council and were saying, What are we doing? For this man is performing many signs, and if we let him go on like this, all men will believe in him, and the Romans will come away and take both our place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all, nor do you take into account that it is expedient for you that one man die for the people, and that the whole nation not perish. The Jewish leadership responded to Lazarus' resurrection reflects their fear of losing power. They ultimately lost that power when Rome invaded and destroyed Jerusalem in 70 AD. Now, an interesting characteristic of those who hold political power, with few exceptions, is that they never want to let go of that power. It is in man's nature to want to be in charge. We have this nature because Adam obeyed Satan, and as Adam's descendants, We are still jealous of those who are in power or jealous of power itself. Human government proves it. Until the Constitution, ratified in 1789, our government had no formalized succession plan outside of elections. Now, even today, our succession structure, except for the president's office through term limits put in place during the Truman administration, is somewhat undefined at the federal level and only a little more defined at the state and local levels. This lack of term limits is why we have some senators and congressmen or women who have 40, 50, or more years in being on the government payroll. The Jewish religious leadership's primary motivation was that if they allowed the situation to continue, they would lose power. The easiest way to remove that threat was to have Jesus killed. People would then lose interest and return to the status quo. Now, we have precisely the same situation today in our federal governmental system. If you can successfully demonize the opposition, then you remain in power. If you aren't in control, then your job is to find a way to successfully demonize the party in power so that you gain power. Notice who gets left out of the equation, the people. And this is where Christians can change the culture. If we live our lives so that people recognize the difference between us and the rest of the world— Some may want to have the same relationship with Christ as we have. However, we should not be so naive to believe that we will influence everyone. That is not our job. Our job is to present Christ and then live with the results. We may attempt to change the world through the Holy Spirit, but even if we don't, we who have a relationship with Christ will be walking closer to Him. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.